Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad, and um, I am recording this almost right after my uh, How to Crash Your Game video. Um, I talked about how I wanted to do a survival uh, playthrough. So here it is. I am currently in survival right now. Uh, this is my current car, my guy. Uh, this is my base, actually. Uh, it's not much. But I'll give you guys the grand tour, the whole 30 seconds that'll take. Uh, so over here I've got my farms. I've got some potatoes planted. i got plenty of water to water them. I've got a small wall right here to prevent anything from getting over too easily. I mean, I, I can still jump over and things can still bash their way through. But it's not too... it'll at least slow things down. Uh, I've got my craft bot over here with some storage, and I have a defensive raft out here. So, uh, if something comes up, oh, looks like something whacked this really good. Yeah, so let's fix that up. So if things try and get across to me, I can come out here and just whack them. But, uh, this right here, this is my pride and joy. This is my car. It doesn't look like much yet. So uh, I got driver's seat. I got a little engine right here, which I actually could upgrade, but I'm not going to. I've got my chest with some food, and then I've got a vacuum pump over here. Uh, so currently I'm trying to get a mining drill, so that way I can start getting stone and metal and other good resources. Uh, yeah, let's see. I believe I have all the materials, yep. Uh, so, something I should say is that I'm not sure if this will actually become a series. I would like it to be, but I don't know if it actually will be. I'm gonna make the drill real quick while I talk. Uh, so this is the craft bot. This is where you do all of your crafting. Uh, there are other craft bots. Uh, there's one over in the mechanic shed, which is the giant wrench building over there. Uh, that is where you will go. That is incredibly crucial to the game. Uh, it's where you get the craft bot. It's where you get uh, refineries and, and bigger storage for logs. Uh, it is the place to get things. Now, I'm not going to claim that I'm an expert on this game. I've not played as much as I should have. And, I mean, this this only came out, like, what, what day is it? Like, the 6th, 7th right now? Uh, it is the 11th. Okay, so it's been out for four days. Still, that's not much time. People don't know much about this game yet. There's not really a wiki at all. So... Yeah, we're just kind of winging it at this point. Uh, but I have figured out quite a bit. So, uh, any if you're looking for tips for the game, if you're not sure what to do, uh, take your craft bot with you. It is going to be your lifeblood. You can stick it on a car, you can stick it on platforms and carry it around much faster. Uh, be careful when you're doing things with the locker, because that is going to be, because this can actually be destroyed, and all the stuff inside will be destroyed. Ooh, my drill is done. Uh, prioritize the drill, actually. Uh, that's another thing that I should mention, is you should prioritize the drill. It is absolutely amazing. Um, don't farm more than like five things at a time, otherwise things will kill you. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the basics. Any good um, uh, scrapper should know your car is your lifeblood, and it's so true even in survival. Uh, your car is your lifeblood. You lose your car, you lose everything. So let's go ahead and let's plop the car back down over here. Yeah. I'm going to raise it up because I actually forgot. I need an engine and a bearing. 
nuts. Uh, I need an electric engine because that's going to be better for powering the drill and the saw blade. So an electric engine is going to require more metal. Uh, metal I can get. Batteries. I believe I have more batteries in here. Yeah, I've got plenty of batteries. And electronics. Easy. Electronics, is that what these are? Circuit boards. I'm used to arc. So used to arc. All right, so I need more of that. Uh, I do need another bearing to stick the drill on. So once I've got that hooked up, I need to clear up some space in my inventory because I do want to show you guys something. So this is a bucket. It's a water bucket. You can throw it, water your plants. Uh, however, it is used in crafting water. Uh, so what that'll do is it'll take your bucket completely. And I actually panicked the first time I did this because I wasn't sure uh, what would happen to my bucket. However, don't panic. Don't panic. You get the bucket back. So if you collect it, now you got a bucket again. So let's go ahead and make some more water, because I need to make some tier 2 metal. Uh, that's something they changed. Uh, now there's a bunch of tiers for everything. Uh, so you've got... Actually, I can show you right here. So you start off with your scrap stuff. Uh, this is scrap wood blocks. I got scrap metal blocks. But then you can upgrade it. So this is a wood block one. Uh, over here on the uh, right side, you can see the different stats, weight, durability, friction, buoyancy, uh, and they're all pretty good. Scrap wood is not very tough, but you can get a lot of it pretty easily by tearing down some bu some buildings. And I just need one more water. Yep, come on. What? what? Come on. There we go. That was weird. That was very strange. I don't need those. Alright. And water back. Alright, so now I have some tier 1. Now I need tier 2, which as you can see down here, I have to get the tier 2. Now there are some things that I actually don't know what they are. Uh, like if we come over here, glow sticks. I know this is chemicals. I have no clue what this thing is. I've looked online and there's not really a wiki right now. So we're just kind of winging it. So I need two of those so that I can get a, an electric engine. Right. Still haven't found cotton, which is crucial to making uh, better seats. Because I really need a driver's saddle to offset the weight. But regardless, I have my engine, I have my bearing, and I have my drill right there. Cool. Uh, that's going to take a minute. Ugh. So as you can see up in the top left, uh, a second in real time is a minute in game. And the day-night cycle is actually pretty okay. I mean, sure, it gets really dark, as you guys probably saw at the beginning of the video. I don't know if I'll cut that out or not. But it gets really dark at night. Uh, so, uh, something I'd also recommend is pick an area close to water, because you're going to need all of these resources. So you've got clams that you can pick up to make glue, all of those uh, smoke-looking things are oil vents, which can give you oil to make uh, gasoline and chemicals and all sorts of other mechanical parts, which I'm actually going to go grab some right now. Let's see, is there any more clams I can grab easily? Ah, there's one right there. Uh, up on the top middle, though, there is an oxygen bar, so be careful. If you start to drown, you die so quickly. And things get deep. 
Uh, as far as I know, there is currently no way to increase your oxygen. Uh, if anyone plays the game and knows about how to do that, uh, by all means, uh, let me know. I'd love to go diving deeper into the oceans, because these places are actually pretty big. Like, this is only a lake. I swear, this is a lake. This isn't an ocean. Like, that's enormous, and it gets so deep, too. There's another ocean, there's another lake. I don't know if it's an ocean or not. There's a huge body of water over there, and another one beyond that. As well as a smaller one over there, and I believe that one extends all the way across. Ah, yes, my engine is done. Let's go ahead and put my clams in there. Fertilizer. Uh, let's just put a stuff in here. So I've got potato seeds going in my seed chest. Uh, that can sit in there. I, I, I guess I can drop some of the tomato seeds. I don't need them all. Dang, I don't need all those. Um, let's put the glass away. Cool. So once I get some metal from the rock nodes, I can show you guys what you can do with it, because you can actually get some stuff to become better. All right. Uh, oh. Oops, I forgot to grab a switch. I have a switch made already, but I still need to grab one. OK, switch. Oh, I might need a better seat. Uh... Okay, let's pick that up and place the drill in the center. Let's go ahead and use this to put the headlight back down. Max. That worked. Cool. Uh, batteries. Batteries. Cool. And I can't upgrade that, so let's upgrade that to make that a bit more efficient and a bit faster. Oops, nope, I don't want it like that. There we go. Oh, look, great. What's in it? Component kit, nice. And a red beet. So now let's head back. Oh, hello there. I can fight you because sledgehammers are cool. All right, let's scrap this. So this is going to give me some scrap metal blocks. Oop, there's another guy. I see you over there. I see you. I don't want to fight you. I see you. So let's zoom back out with the camera. Okay. Of course, uh, watch out for corn. It is rock solid for some reason. Oh, tiny bot, don't care about you. Oh, there's beehives up. Uh, beehives are used to make uh, tires, I believe. Oh, oh! No, 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 no! Don't smash my new car! Do not smash my car! Get away! Yeah, that's right, you get away from my car! Alright, cool. Uh, now, something that I haven't actually tried that I want to uh, is whether or not you can build a battle car. Uh, like, something with a bunch of weapons on it, just like a bunch of uh, drills or saw blades. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but I want to try it. Whoops. Alright, so I managed to break some of these, so I'll throw that up there. Ooh, 
That is pure metal. So what I can do is I can refine this. Let's see. Yep. So this is, I have two metal blocks right now. Once that's refined, now I have 12. Whoa. I don't know what happened to the game audio there. I don't know what's going on with the game audio. That is weird. That is very weird. Now I have stone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Oops. I do wish they would fix that. Cool. More stone. So with this, I can make some sand. And with the sand, I can then make glass. And with the glass, I can finally make a resource pipe. So let's refine that. Refine this. So, uh, something to note about stone is that it is way heavier than metal. Uh, I don't know why, but it is so much heavier. And I guess I understand their decision to do that, because they need something that gives a ton of weight, which is why when you uh, recraft stone into top-tier stone, it just increases the weight. And I, I get it. I really do. Oh, yes. That headlight is so nice. Is this metal? I believe that's metal. Nice. So I'm going to be heading back over to the uh, mechanics shed, and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the things that you can uh, craft there, because I actually need some of that stuff. So let's go ahead and just flip my car around. Oh. Now the game audio is fixed. I don't know what happened to it in the first place. Is that a guy? That's a guy. So you can always tell where the tote bots are because they have uh, small blue sparks on their heads. Uh, the hay bots, which are the guys with pitchforks, are not quite as easy to spot in the dark. And that's why I have a bunch of lights on my car, so that way I can see them coming no matter where they're coming from. I'll especially see them if they're in front of me, but if they come from the side or behind, I'm not going to be caught completely unawares. Ooh. I don't know if that guy saw me or not. All right, so I'm here at the mechanics shed. Let's go ahead and park. And right up here is where you can craft all the things. So uh, as you can see, we've got the craft bot, which is what I have currently. So I have the refinery bot. And then there's the resource collector, which can uh, help the refinery bot become more efficient. So let's see, I need more metal, I need some electronics, and I need some component parts, or component kits. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any component kit. Component kits are annoying to get, I will say that right now. I also need more metal. So, Let's go and try and get more. Uh, resource crate over here. Tote bot, you can be wiped off. Cool. Nuts. I mean, a sun shake, that's useful. Gives a ton of water, not much food. That was nice. That was, that was nice. That was nice. You know what? Let's go back to spawn. Because I know there's some hay, bi hay bots over there. And you can get a fair amount of resources, if I remember correctly. 
So the nice thing about this game is that you actually don't have to go too far to... Whoa! Frame rate, what's going on? Oh no! I'm out of fuel. I brought more. Cool. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, running out of fuel at the wrong time is a death sentence sometimes. Oh! And that is a hay bot. That's a tote bot. That's a tote bot. I don't want to fight all of those at once next to my car. Kill the tote bot quickly. Grab the circuit board. Because that's all they drop. It sucks. Whew. Yeah, I'll take your leg. Because I can refine that up. Cool. All right, I'm gonna head back to spawn. Oh, uh, so this is a oh, pothole. That's a pothole. Uh, so this is a old uh, market. And if you find one of these early in the game, uh, something that you can do that I didn't do on my first time is you can just steal the building. There's, there's no one stopping you. Just, you know, steal the building. Mine now. The original owner wasn't using it, so I might as well. Oh, scrap wheels. Don't even bother with scrap wheels. They're, they're not worth it. At all. Ever. Just run around until you find better wheels. Oop. More haybots. You can drop component kits, so please come back here. Thank you. Component kit. Yeah! Component kit. Ah! Jeez! Ah! Scared the tar out of me. <sighs> oh, I hate that. I hate that, I hate it, I hate it, hate, hate that. I believe there's a giant mining rock over here somewhere. Um, I'm gonna wait until morning to go. But let's look around over there, actually. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Oh, that was super fun. So, any mining rocks over here? Does not look like it, actually. Huh, it is almost morning. Crap corn. Oh, hello. Give me a component kit, please. Give me a component kit, please. Stop running. Thank you. Die. Give me a component kit. Dang it! Dang it! I might need to make a couple of trips. But it is morning, which is quite nice. Let's head back on up here. 
So this part of the spawn area will always be the same. Uh, I will let you know that much. Uh, beyond that, it is all up to random chance where you end up and what ends up where. So there's the crash site. I want to be careful because I don't actually want to light my vehicle on fire because that's a thing! Alright. Uh, oh, just in case, I have a bucket of water. Cool. Let's go ahead and let's loot all of this. It's a circuit board. Chemicals. Free bearing! That is awesome! That is actually awesome! Tomato, carrot. Beautiful. Uh, let's bop this guy. Circuit board. Don't mind the fact that I just whiffed. Component kit! Yes! Gas, sun shake. Yeah, all the loot here is pretty useful. God, yeah! Uh, I believe it respawns every few days. So, there's that. Uh, things on the ground do not respawn. I will point that out. So, if you leave something, it's gone for good. Uh, that wasn't quite how I wanted to say that. You can only get it once. It's not going to be gone for good, like, if you just leave something laying on the ground, you can still pick it up later, but you can't get multiple of the same thing. Jeez. Glad I turned. Alrighty, nothing in that. Sunshake, soil bag. Red beet, sunshake. So normally when you spawn in, there's something called a master battery that spawns right there. And I'll show you what you do with it in just a minute. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, another crate. Soil bag, component kit, carrot. Cool. Uh, so that will never respawn. You can't get more than two because there's always one in the... Um, uh, Mechanics Raj, that's what it is. I could not think of what it was called. Ooh, all the good loot. Yeah, look at all that stuff. Let's chuck that down there so I can drink sun shakes instead of eating my valuable, valuable food. Ooh! Don't don't walk in fire. Fire bad. Fire bad. Let's go ahead and run back down. So when you spawn in, most of your ship will be on fire. That is normal. However, just because it's on fire and spewing smoke into the air doesn't mean that it's worthless. Oh, I love the detail they put into this area. It's just so nice. Ooh. Yeah, that's a mining rock. Hey, yeah, I can mine that rock. So, this is your ship. Congratulations, you crashed. However, it is not worthless. Uh, if you are in dire need of uh, shelter, this place will be your place to go. Uh, I still don't know what to actually do with that. Uh, so... Uh, you can put out the fire that's normally here, uh, throw in the master battery that you found at the top of the tower, and you can use this little craft spot right here. Uh, th this is the same one that's over at the um, uh, mechanics uh, shed. Uh, it is a very simplified craft spot. You can only craft this stuff, and it takes way longer than normal. I think it's like three times longer. However, if you've just started, Bearings, connection tools, buttons, switches, cardboard blocks, 
all of this stuff is going to be incredibly useful. Uh, additionally, there's some fuel that spawns over here, and there's some other things that spawn in here. Uh, there's a locker right here, which is at my base currently, and it provides a couple of inventory spaces when placed. Uh, ooh, I have the inventory space. I want a coffee mug. Cool. Uh, you can pick up toilet paper. Can I pick up the shelves? No, nah, you can't pick up the shelves. Uh, if you, I guess if you really wanted it, there's a microwave you could place down to have a single inventory spot cleared up. You could take the radio. But, meh. I see no reason. Uh, there's also a scrap wheel in here. However, scrap wheels are just garbage. Don't even bother with them. Cool. So that that's the spawn area. I'm going to go harvest this rock. And potentially get enough to make those... Uh, the refinery. Whoa! Oh no! Switch it off! Switch it off! Oh boy! Where'd the other piece go? Oh! Yes! Some metal! Soon I won't be doing this myself. Oh, it's right here. Also, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Like normal, I might cut it down, I might not. You might not even see this part of me refining things. But, yeah, I'm gonna do this for a while. I need the resources. Over. On. Oh, something to note is that I don't actually know if rocks will respawn. So if you find metal nodes or uh, rock nodes, uh, just keep in mind where they are because. I haven't actually seen any of them respawn. No, stop rolling. Stop. Stop. Okay, cool. Are you serious? I got caught on a stick? Ugh. I actually don't know if this affects me too much. It doesn't seem to be, but I know that if I were to refine these and put them on the car, holy crap, that would affect me so much. It doesn't seem to be affecting me terribly, but I do feel like I'm being pulled around a bit. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ridiculous. Alright, let's head back. <sighs> Guy in the middle of the street. I don't care. Whoa, what? Oh, it's the scrap tires from earlier. Let's 
seriously, don't bother with scrap tires. They're not round, so you can't actually drive with them. Even if you have a perfect motor and, like, the perfect car, you can't drive in the slightest with them. Yep, you're coming at me, I see you. Find this a bit closer to my car so that I'm safer. on in here. Try the sun shake because my water is pretty low. Oh yeah, I can easily get both of these. And drop. Beautiful. Now a resource collector. Pluck, pluck that down right there. Beautiful. So this thing will collect resources automatically from nearby. Oh, and that thing will suck them in and start grinding them. So let's set that down there. Collect that. Oh boy, okay, that, that does add a ton of weight, but look at that. Swing around and head for home. Oh, that's fun. I'm going so slow. Yeesh. These things apparently are really freaking heavy. Oh, jeez, and I flipped it. All right, I'm just walking with it now. This honestly is probably faster. So something to keep in mind if you're actually trying to do that is that you have to place it down every now and then, otherwise you're going to lose the creation and you'll have to go back and pick it up. Let's just barely not go in the water. Oops. Do that again. There is home, sweet home. Let's plop that down there. Try this. That's gonna sink. Yikes! Yeah, that sank. All right. Now let's let's actually start to build a base because I have enough. I 
enough materials. Uh, let's build it out of wood. You plunk down there. You down there. So now that's just going to grind up all this stuff for me. Sweet. Seriously, I have so much wood. It's amazing. Like, there's no reason for me not to build it. Build a proper base. Let's see, I'll have it come out here. Let's have you constantly building. Let's have some stairs going up. Maybe, I maybe I'll cut this into a couple of videos, because I know that I played this for quite some time already. I don't know how long, but maybe I'll cut it into a couple of videos. There we go. I know how I can do this. Building out is always annoying, but at least you can do that. I didn't say stop. You keep building. You keep making. Alright. Machines thinking it can take a break. Okay. Plant your potatoes. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. That. Uh, and now they're grown again. So I've got some potatoes, which can be used as uh, spud gun ammo, which is what I'm currently going after. That's why I need this thing, which is the vacuum pump. However, I don't think it worked properly because when I tried, what happened was I shot a tomato and it didn't do anything. So I'm trying something different. Go ahead and let's expand out this way next. Beautiful. Beautiful. That may have just sucked through all of my materials, but I have a base. A proper base.
Beautiful. So, let's see here. I grabbed from this guy all of that stone. That's awesome. Let's craft up some sand. I need my embers. Where's the embers? No, oh, I don't. Nah, whatever. <gasps> no, where's all my embers? <gasps> Did I use them all? Oh, I might have. Nope, I've got ten right there. I'm all good. Alright, so then I need glass. That. Hmm. Yeah, so this is the concrete block. It's the upgraded form of stone. And then, as you can see on the right, uh, the durability and the weight goes up. Which is ridiculously heavy at... Uh, Tier 3. Yeesh. Uh, with this, it's just the durability and buoyancy that goes up. Uh, with this, it's the durability and the buoyancy. However, it's much, much more. Uh, let's see. Glass tiles. Eh, those are the same. But then you've also got the armored glass blocks, which require net blocks. I'm not actually sure what net blocks do, or the punched steel. Hmm. Oh well, I'll find out another day. So then I need the vacuum pipe, which requires that. And... Select and craft. Cool. I'm going to move my big robot up here. that vacuum pipe. Then I actually want to carry the uh, this thing around with me because that's going to be able to collect all of the resources that I gathered and it's just going to be good. It's, it's so useful. All right, now what do I need for a saw blade? I need some metal. Metal is easy now that I have a drill. Cool. Let's pick up the craft bot and throw him up here. So he's out of harm's way. Let's pick up this. And let's throw the locker down there. And the chest. Also squeeze in there. Cool. Let's grab all of this. And just have you make a couple more. Beautiful. So, I've got my pipe. Nope, that was miss. What? Don't know if that's hooked up properly, so we're going to find out. I have 40 tomatoes. I've got my potatoes growing. I've got this thing. I'm actually going to leave that here because I'm not planning on gathering anything. So let's pick this up and head back to shore. that down oh <gasps> no that's not actually connected okay okay um grab that grab that
Awesome. All right. I think that works now. Oh, that's a big cluster of enemies. Oh, I, f I nailed the flip. Nailed it. Ooh, don't chase there, chase him. But I'm faster. Okay. So I think that this is how you get the um, spud gun. So I've got my my tomatoes. Cut the corner. Now you can see the um, workshop right over there through the trees. Maybe like oh no 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 you stay away. I'll not have you destroy my handiwork. So hard for this stuff. <sighs> Might as well grind this up. There we go. All right. So if I come over here, whoop, let's pull a 360 or a 180. Go up to the right one, which is actually on the left. Oh! What? 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 No! No, you're supposed to get a spud gun! Packaging state. Uh. I don't want them to be packaged. How do you get? <sighs> How much should that take? All right, I'm going to have to do a bit more research. How does one get the spud gun? All right, I'm going to cut the vid here for a minute and do some research. I am going to have to log out since there is no pause. I'll be back. What the crap? Uh. All right, so I was just on the wiki. I guess I'm on the right track. So uh, if I take a look back at the wiki, what you have to do is you have to trade at a different location near the packaging station uh, in an area surrounded by mountain, excuse me, mountains, which actually checks out because there's one right there so what you do is you take the packaging station and you switch out crates for things uh, so what you need for the spud gun oh crud you need 
to find caged farmers, and I haven't found them yet. But you are going to need a uh, blueberry crate and an orange crate. Now, to get that, you need uh, seeds. For the blueberry seed, you need red beets, and for the orange seed, you need tomatoes. So I'm actually on the right track to getting the gun. I need two more potato uh, tomatoes. And then I can get the spud gun. And then I can start farming for beets. What? Why is this not working anymore? Alright, I know how to get it now, but honestly, I'm kind of done with scrap right now. This is just annoying at this point. So, I'm just going to call a video, even though I just did a cut. Uh, yeah, I'm just done with scrap. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe. I might be doing more. But I'll probably be working on getting the spud gun off screen now that I know that I need red beets and i need to go find a farmer because that's fun okay i'll see you guys later bye